the chair is the chair is embracing you and pushing you up. It's the circle of life. Hello. It has actually been about exactly one week since I last um, updated on anything. After the first day I got here and I was kind of really overwhelmed and like stressed and trying to like understand everything and where I am and the language and stuff and so I didn't really film any of that and I thought it'd be nice to kind of just like wait a week and then give an update on like how I'm doing and things I'm learning and stuff. So honestly like after a week and like getting into the swing of things I've been really able to appreciate like how incredibly amazing this city is. It's honestly like kind of living in like a like a fairy tale type of town like it just reminds me of like a Disney movie just like all the architecture and just how people act and it's it's just like it's honestly like breathtaking everywhere I go is just so beautiful and so um, I started my studios because I'm doing um, furniture design here I started my studios the day after I got here so we were like full swing as soon as you got here got right into like lectures and understanding the curriculum curric, curriculum and just like understanding like what we're going to be doing this summer and the professors are super nice like very helpful um very very experienced and hold on just like look how like can we just appreciate how cute this place is i'm not really sure like where i am right now but Oh, I'm gonna go in there. I don't really know what's in there, but we're gonna go. Oh my god, wait, this is like so pretty. Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang out in here for a little bit because this is really cute. Oh my god, where am I? Just like shit like this, just everywhere I'm walking. Like, I don't even know what this is, but I was just walking to a coffee shop. And this is part of my walk. Um, anyways, so what was I saying? My professors are very experienced. Um, they're all like crazy good cabinet makers and craftsmen. The woman that's my main professor, she um, she was like a lead designer for IKEA here at the headquarters for like 20 years and she's like designed so many things that I see in Ikea like all the time, which is like just so funny. Um, oh my God, I think I'm lost. <laughs> I go off track for like two seconds and I, no, I don't know where I am, but <laughs> yeah, she's just very experienced and very friendly and she was just showing us some of these things that she's made and I'm like, oh my God, like I see that in Ikea all the time. There's like the swing that like a lot of people I see in like a lot of apartments and stuff. But yeah, they're just very friendly and they know a lot of shit. They're pretty intimidating. Hold on, like I just can't stop with all of I was having a hard time like understanding which supermarket was like a Whole Foods and which supermarket was like an Al Aldi because I like you boys trying to save some money, but I learned that very quickly um, and then just having to like convert everything and like trying to like read the ingredients. I'm pretty like adamant about like reading like labels and understanding what I'm putting in my body so I'm just kind of risking it all and just hoping that I don't die from disease from like the Danish food that I'm eating because I can't read the labels. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, I am hopefully going to be getting to this coffee shop. It looked really cool, it's like on a roof. So I'm gonna do some sketches there. Um, we have a critique in a couple days, or tomorrow, oh my God. We have a critique tomorrow of like a few concepts uh, for the chair that we wanna do. So I'm just gonna do some of that and get a coffee and hopefully get those, oh my God! Look at that like big swing thingy. Oh my God, I wanna ride that. Should I just ditch the 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 sketches I have to do and just <laughs> go and ride that giant ass swing? So I'm going to go to this coffee shop and try to work on these sketches and hopefully not be up too late getting these finished so I can present them tomorrow. And I will see you after. You is 
so nice. Just doing a little bit of sketch work, just getting some ideas on the paper, some quick little drawings, my coffee. And yeah, I will see you later. Hello. Okay, so it has been um two days and when I was last filming I was I went to the coffee shop and I did some sketching because I had a concept review the next day. Oh, I also got um a haircut. Um it was a struggle. The, the guy was really nice and didn't really speak a lot of English and I was just like, I just want like a fade. Um, I didn't really like specify anything. I just, I really never do when I get haircuts. I was just like, just a fade is fine. And it's like literally like skin. Like it actually feels really nice. I kind of like it, but it's, it kind of makes, I, I'm kind of like bald. Um, but anyways, if you saw my last video, I explained that I'm studying furniture design in Copenhagen. And so we had, one of the first assignments we had is to come up with um, three different concept sketches for the chair that we want to design, which is usually like the, usually the first step in um, the design process and making and designing anything. So um, yeah, we all did like a little bit of research and then kind of did a few sketches, well, a few sketches. A few sketches means hundreds, but then you kind of refine and pick a few that you like, make a concept, sketch drawing, which is like a, a hero shot to communicate it the best, um, and then kind of like show your ideas. Um, so I figured since, uh, since I did these sketches and I kind of have like ideas, I can kind of like explain like the design process and like my process throughout building this chair and kind of just start by the first step, which is um, sketching um, and making a couple of concepts and like my ideas and like what I do. So for me, first step one is research. Research the history and try to get inspired from that. Pull different things that I can use into my own designs. There's absolutely nothing wrong with um, getting inspiration from history and trying to recreate something. Um, you can take something very well known and change a couple things about it. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you are changing something and making it into your own, it's something new. We're learning a lot about like the big um, Danish designers uh, throughout history here in Denmark. And so I found a few that I really liked and just looked at different elements that they would incorporate to their furniture. One was uh, Hans J. Wegna or Wegna. And then there's Paul, Paul Kjellholm. It's another one that I am inspired by because he was actually inspired by Mies van der Rohe, who is my favorite architect and designer. Um, and so what I started with is I always start with thumbnails, which is just tiny little drawings um, where you just kind of draw the sketch, the profile view, the side view, um, and just different forms that I like and just going crazy with weird ideas. At this point you have no idea if these will actually work. It's just more to get some ideas down and try to pinpoint different elements that you could later incorporate into a concept that you chose. And so with a few of these, um, I found these three to be most interesting. I just liked um, the angles and they're a little more simple. I, I always like the more simple things. Here is just a couple very quick and simple um, sketches on how I was trying to understand how to draw a chair in perspective because I don't really draw a lot of chairs. I've designed some furniture, but as you can see, just like very sketchy, like perspective is very off, just trying to understand it, but I'm very interested in more of like a lounge chair. So something that's very sloped back, low to the ground, something you can kind of just sit in and just like chill with your cat with your legs crossed and so after i got a few ideas down i like i said i pinpointed a couple that i liked and then did a couple um mock-up concept drawings for those and as you can see it's very like low to the ground and keep in mind like i know this looks like refined and stuff but this is just this is an I, this is an idea 
and it's just to show where I'm at, what I'm thinking, kind of what I want out of it. In no way is like any of this going to actually like work. There's probably a lot of problems with like the structure. It's kind of being like pushed up and you have this like very like strong angle like pushing up the back. When I drew the, the side view in one of my little thumbnails, I instantly thought of The Lion King and <laughs> um, the circle of life scene where Rafiki is holding up Simba like this, which I thought was really funny because I loved The Lion King as a little kid and I love like pulling inspiration from like nostalgia and stuff. I think that's really fun and people love nostalgia. So I really like this idea. If I were to go with this further, I would probably call it the circle of life chair or something or like the Simba chair. This is another like kind of idea, very inspired by Danish um, design with the um, very tapered and rounded legs and the um, triangle back. Um, what I liked about this one is like the back legs follow the same angle as the front, so it makes the point where these two meet very close. I forgot to mention I really want to do molded plywood for the seat and the backrest. This is idea number three. Because of a project I did um, a couple years ago, I fell in love with the idea of a flat pack. That's also like kind of what makes up IKEA is flat pack furniture, which is things that come in a box and then you kind of assemble it together. Very easy, easy, supposed to be easy and quick. Um, but my professor who worked at the IKEA headquarters in Sweden loved this idea. This is the same um, idea where this is one piece and then this is one piece and then there's kind of like a notch cut out and it kind of just is just a few different pieces and then put together and then again with the molded plywood back and seat and because it's kind of like very two-dimensional with these pieces I wanted to mimic that with the seat in the back by kind of making the whole thing look like it could be folded up. After doing a lot of ideation and iteration and sketching and learning and those are the three ideas and I decided to go with this route and I think it's interesting there's not a lot of the chairs that have a straight back or a straight back support. I can't get the image of um, the circle of life out of my head and I think that's just kind of funny um, to design something after a child's Disney movie so I'm going to go further with that um, and so I started doing a very very tiny 1 to 10 scale drawing another quick sketch of what it might look like um, and so that is what I'm doing scale drawings, trying to understand proportions. I'm really excited for the rest of the design process with this because it is going to be intense and fun and there's a lot of building and a lot of mistakes and a lot of racing and drawing and mental breakdowns and I love that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm excited. What's next is making one to five scale models. Basically, you try to model your chair making it look like it's life size but it's still it's in one to five so it's very very small usually you make it out of different like cardboard materials i'll insert a picture of my my little initial model that i made and so that's just to get a better idea of the real life thing so once i get that approved i will move into the full life size sketch model which is an actual life-size drawing of the side profile and front profile of the chair. So yeah, um, I'm excited to do that. I'm sorry that I just rambled basically. I don't, I'm probably gonna have to cut a lot of this out, but I kind of re really want to talk about design and how I do the design process because every designer does it differently. And especially share my process in Copenhagen and what I'm learning from real Danish designers and woodworkers and craftsmen. I think that's very valuable and interesting to me and also to do it in this beautiful city in which I am right now. So I hope you enjoyed this very long ramble about design so far and if you enjoy this kind of stuff then look out for my next video because I hopefully will be updating on my next steps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.